All right, so right here. I know, I just wanted to show off the... Sh and welcome to another episode of This Week in Disney History. I am your host, Milo Beasley. Uh, this is a huge week, including some of my favorite moments in Disney Parks history ever. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. It's that huge. So Sunday to Saturday, Sunday, May 31st. So we're going to start with May 31st, 2008. Buzz Lightyear becomes an international sensation. By international, I mean International Space Station. So Buzz is now an international space station sensation as he climbs aboard the space shuttle Discovery on its way to its mission at the ISS. The very same day, May 31st, 2018, Toy Story's Midway Mania opens at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Just to let everyone know, I am the best Midway Mania player ever. In fact, I'm player two here, and it was an off day. And when the parks reopen, I challenge anybody to step into the, or I guess it's not really right. Uh, May 31st, 2012, a sad day as Snow White's Scary Adventure closes. Uh, deemed too scary for some, so maybe it's not a sad day. Same day, May 31st, 2012, the Art of Animation opens up its Phase 1 at the Walt Disney World Resort. Uh, I think this was just the Little Mermaid section and not the very coolest of the cool Cars section, which comes later, which is my favorite part. Um, of course, Art of Animation is an extension of Disney's Pop Century, which makes it my second favorite Disney park on, uh, on property, or resort on property. Uh, and as we, we touched upon last episode, but uh, May 31st, 2019, the official grand opening of Galaxy's Edge at Disneyland Resort. Uh, I was not there. I'm sorry, I don't have any cool pictures of me with any lightsabers or R2s or anything like that. So we're just going to go ahead and jump on to something I do got a picture of, which is June 1st, uh, 1989. Typhoon Lagoon opens up at the Walt Disney World Resort. And if you have not been to an H2O Glow at Typhoon Lagoon, I highly, highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. It's at night. Uh, you can have like 32 floaties all to yourself. Uh, moving on to June 2nd. Now here it is. One of my favorite memories of all time. Disney Fan Days at Disneyland Paris. Uh, this, this event had it all. It had rare characters, parades, and it had the single best stage show in all of Disney history in Max Live. I wish I could show you the entire thing, but due to YouTube copyrights and songs and all that stuff, I'm going to just show you a little bit of a sneak peek, and then you can go and try to watch it somewhere else. And speaking of Disney fan days, is where I met Milo and Keita for the very first time. In fact, Milo and Keita from the movie Atlantis, which opened on June 3rd, 2001. Atlantis, The Lost Empire opens up at a theater near you. Milo, the main character, voiced by one of my favorite actors of all time. Hi, Michael J. Fox. Just gonna wave awkwardly. Pretend you're waving back at me through the YouTubes. June 4th, 1990, Bengal Barbecue opens up at the Disneyland Resort. Why is this huge news? Because my friend Matthew Prebor goes there all the time. He's like 10 skewers a day. You can follow him if you want, at Matthew Prebor. Also, June 4th, 1999, The Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh opens up at the Magic Kingdom uh, Walt Disney World, replacing Mr. Toad's Wild Ride in a highly controversial move. Uh, that's pretty much all I'm going to say about that. Anyways, uh, moving on to June 5th, 1972. Eastern Airlines, if you had wings, uh, attraction opens up at the Magic Kingdom. Uh, this will not be the last time you hear about uh, if you had wings. So if you're a huge fan of that attraction, pay attention. I got spoilers for you. 15 years, it closes down. And Anyways, uh, June 5th, 2010, Un unbeknownst to a lot of people, the last time they will see the Spectro Magic Parade at the Magic Kingdom. As June 6th, 2010 is the first time for the third iteration of the Main Street Electrical Parade. As I mentioned, if you had wings, closes 15 years later, and almost to the day, June 6th, 
1987, if you can fly, opens up in its place. And of course, a couple years later, iterations and refurbs. Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin opens at the, I mean, not on this day. I just wanted to open and close with Buzz Lightyear. If you have a problem with it, I guess you just go have to watch another podcast that doesn't like Buzz Lightyear. So thanks for watching this week in Disney history. Uh, please subscribe, follow, like, share, and do all the cool things that the Diz Twitter does. I mean, not like the things that like Diz Twitter really does, but like, you know, do the share thing. Be like, hey, this guy's cool, watch his stuff.